<laughs> Hello guys! Happy Monday night. It is after 9 o'clock. Um, I have gone live a lot today and I can't believe that. Um, didn't mean to. It's just uh, just how my day kind of ended up coming and um, I have been doing a lot of personal reflection and I, uh, I I have set some big goals for myself for 2017 and this month has been absolutely crazy as far as trying to achieve those goals and making a plan for them. Um, but I, I, uh, when you set goals and really want to change in your life, um, you have to do a lot of reflection and um, we talk about in, uh, in the motivational world if especially finding your why you know why do you get up in the morning why do you uh, why do you set these goals why do you do what you want to do why are you here why why even try I've been uh, at a point that point in my life uh, a lot a lot <laughs> actually uh, since I was a little girl um, a lot of things had happened to me as a child and I uh, questioned my existence um, my reason to live a few times and um, and then I, you know, I learned forgiveness and I've grown from them. Um, I will write a book someday on it. I, uh, it's, it's a lot to talk about, but I'm not going to talk about that today. Um, I'm going to talk about a goal that I've set for myself and, um, that it, I'm, my heart is racing because I've never talked about it this before. Um, I really have made it a goal of mine to be truly a healthy person. And in the Native American world, um, being healthy is not just about, you know, health and fitness. It is about um, finding balance in your life. When you are given a Native American name, I was blessed enough to work with our medicine man in Shishiguaning. And I was named, and I'm Gamewinkwe, which means rain woman. And I was given an eagle feather. And you don't have to know anything about the Native American culture to know that feathers are important to us. Um, they're everywhere in my house. I have one tattooed on me. Um, simply because it's a reminder to try to live a healthy lifestyle. But the cool thing about that feather, I don't know what my hair is doing. The cool thing about that feather is that each quadrant, it's made up of four parts. You know, when the bird is, the feather's laying on the bird, you see one side of it and it has two, two parts, and then the underside that you don't get to see very often has another two parts. And each one of those represents um, a part of our being. And uh, it's the, the side that you see most are our are, are physical and emotional. Those are things that we show everyone all the time. But on the other side is our spiritual and mental. And it is our goal to live a healthy and balanced life and to have all four, four of those quadrant, um, mental, mental, emotional, physical, um, and spiritually balanced life is to truly be healthy. And this is something that I have, uh, have really been focusing on for 2017. And I thought I'd share with you uh, an experience that happened to me that really shook my life more so than being sexually molested. And it's, uh, it's hard to talk about because I lied to almost the entire world. Um, in 2014, I was so blessed enough to achieve a goal of mine to be Miss Indiana USA. And, uh, I worked very hard to get there and I have had amazing people help me get there, um, sponsors and, and supporters, um, my local community helped me especially and I won and it was I still to this day one of my favorite years of my life and one of the favorite titles I've ever held and I made it my goal to uh, use that year to help boys and girls, men and women alike, to be the best versions of themselves and to set goals for themselves and not not let their past define who they are. Like the same thing happened to me. Danielle, I'm loving you. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Um, and I decided to spend my entire reign, as we call it, um, helping people uh, overcome their pasts, for, find forgiveness in their hearts, and to move forward with their, their lives. And uh, I, I feel like I've achieved that. And I, I'm still, it's something that I want to do every day. Um, but then I was lucky enough to go to Miss USA and Baton Rouge, and I was not healthy as I thought I was. Um, 
and I'm talking about the mental, spiritual, physical, and emotional health. I was an absolute wreck, but I faked it. And I tried my best while I was there, but I just was not at a good point in my life. I went to Miss USA and um, wanted to win so bad. And I, ha I, I gained weight at Miss USA. And a lot of people don't know this except for the people who were directly involved. Um, I gained a lot of weight at Miss USA. I don't know if it was the stress, probably the Louisiana cooking, everything was buttered and creamed and salted. Um, and I, ex and I, I really took my mental and emotional stress out and ate a lot at Miss USA. And it came down to uh, time to compete. And I remember walking down to my dress check. Everybody has to have a dress check. Everybody looks, make sure your your dress, your evening gown is gonna uh, look good on stage for national television. And I couldn't zip my gown and I was mortified. Um, and I really contacted, you know, my trainer and, you know, the people that have been helping me, you know, I've gotta drop inches before I step out on stage in three nights help what do I do and uh, so I worked very hard I it, it was a very strict diet to try to lose all this extra bloat and stress and everything that I had done and all the weight I gained to try to get into my gown and um, I was fortunate enough rehearsals came around I competed in my evening gown okay and I competed in swimsuit and interview went awesome I felt good about myself and then came now you know came down to finals night and uh, when the you know finals before you go live on television you actually uh, get to have a rehearsal and I got into rehearsal and I worked very hard to lose that extra weight that I had gained uh, in three days if you can imagine how stressful that is um, we got my gown on and right before I stepped on stage the entire dress just popped the zipper popped I broke my dress I couldn't get into it and broke the zipper and luckily I had uh, brought a backup gown Thank you to Ash Renee's. And I could fit into that one okay, but I was mortified. They sewed me in my gown and pretty much told me there was no way we were gonna fix it by that evening. And um, I there was nothing you could do. You can't worry about the things you can control. I competed that night and was fortunate enough to make it in the top 20 live on TV for Miss Indiana USA in 2014. Competed in a swimsuit that didn't fit me very well and I didn't make it to the next day's uh, competition. The rest is history. Most of you know um, that the world Twitter kind of took crazy notice and went on and on and on about my normal body and I had a lot of praise about uh, how uh, I was so confident enough to walk out there even though I was a different shape and size than other women. And I happened to be between two of these littlest, smallest girls. I felt like a whale in between them. And uh, there, again, you, can, you know, you only focus on the things you can control. And I competed in my swimsuit and didn't make it to the next phase of competition. And again, like I said, um, the world went crazy. Uh, and it was, it was really the most strange phenomenon I've ever experienced in my life. Um, I, it, it broke me. I don't know how I don't know how else to say it, but you know I woke up the next day with um, I can't even remember how many emails and text messages and phone calls and voicemails from people trying to get a hold of me. Uh, Good Morning America was on the line and Entertainment Tonight and um, and the you know CNN and everybody was trying to get a hold of me and I couldn't figure out what the heck why I had just fallen very very short of my goal to be Miss USA and I couldn't figure it out. And um, and it was all because I was a different shape than everybody else, and I was a different size, and I was getting personal messages from girls who um, suffered from anxiety about their body and um, that were fighting anorexia and bulimia, and they were proud of me for going out there, even though I knew I was a different shape and size than everybody else. So I embraced it, and I uh, I said, "What the heck? Let's do this." And I, you can, I mean, go ahead and Google it, um, see all the interviews that I did. And it was really hard because I was very unhappy with myself. I hated the way I looked. I gained weight at Miss USA. And I've never talked about it because on all those interviews on TV, I uh, went on and on and on about how I didn't stress about it. And I'm comfortable in my own skin and how...
I lied. I, I lied. I wasn't comfortable with my own skin. I was not in a good spot, but I wanted to motivate people and I wanted them to know that they should love themselves no matter what, even though I didn't love myself in that moment. And I feel bad for that. I feel bad for lying. And um, after that, I, I had to live in that lie. Um, I gained a lot of weight after Miss USA. Um, I embraced it and I said, well, if the world thinks I'm fat, then I'm going to show them. And then I did gain quite a bit of weight and I continued to eat emotionally. Um, I, I developed a very unhealthy relationship with food. And, uh, and I would hide my body by buying very oversized clothes. And I still had a job to do. I was still missing DN USA. So I had to go to all these appearances and plaster a smile on my face and... And I loved every minute of it, don't get me wrong, but I was just not in a good good spot mentally and emotionally. And the great news about it, I mean, there was a lot of people that were great and supportive and thanked me for being so confident, even though I really wasn't. Um, but I also had a lot of people that um, told me, you know, couldn't believe that I had gained weight. I looked like a whale. One of my favorite tweets I think that I ever saw was, yes, Miss Indiana USA, uh, made such an impact. Her impact, or you could visibly see the impact with every step she took on that stage, meaning uh, I was so heavy that the stage was bowing. Um, I had people call me fat, chubby, um, couldn't believe that I had stepped out. Why the heck did I make the top 20? Um, comical remarks that they couldn't believe how fake my boobs are. Well, <laughs> anybody knows me. Well, that's not the case. Um, it just, I, I'd li I was lying to say that those things didn't hurt because they hurt. Uh, no matter how in shape you are or how confident of a person you are, it, it hurts. And I had the whole world looking at me and my body for the first time in my life. And it was very hard. And uh, it was a very rough time in my life. And I lied to a lot of people saying I was fine and loving it and embracing it. Um, my best friend was mad at me. Um, a couple of my best friends were mad at me. I was very alone in the process. My husband, who was, we were not even engaged then, was very supportive, but he didn't know what to do. Um, I was in a very hard spot in my life there. And I felt so bad because I just wanted to be as the, I wanted to be that confident person that everybody thought I was and I was telling the world I was. And so I went through a really dark time. Um, I went through a dark time got engaged and a lot of happiness happened in my life, but I still had still a really hard time with my health and fitness. I still had a lot of weight, was playing this roller coaster, and uh, I just feel like I could never get a grasp on my health. And I, you know, hated the way I looked in the mirror since the day I stepped out on stage in my swimsuit. Um, I hated, I hated having to analyze everything I put in my body. I hated trying to work out and then always getting fed up and quitting and, and hating the reflection that looked back at me in the mirror. I hated being naked for my husband. I hated being in a swimsuit. I just really, it really broke me. Um, and then this amazing woman contacted me on Instagram and said, you know, I, how inspirational I was. And I was trying to be inspirational. I really wanted to motivate people to be the best versions of themselves. That's something that I will do to the, to my core, to the day I die. Um, and she introduced me to uh, coaching with Beachbody, and it has completely changed my life. So, I lied to a lot of you when I told you that I was confident. I lied to the world. I lied on CNN and Fox and Friends and Good Morning America. Um, no matter how pretty or confident or just... Whatever somebody's outer appearance doesn't always mean that inside they feel that way. And I know I, I love health and fitness. I probably blow up your guys' news feed with all of everything. That's because it's truly a passion of mine. And if you feel like you can't relate to me, that's okay. I know I'm a, quite an, a, a unique experience. But, you know, I know what it's like to hate the body you're in. I know what it's like to not to want to live. I know what it's like to hate the reflection staring back at you. And it's been my goal to inspire somebody every day to not feel that way. And that's what coaching, fitness coaching does for me. <sighs> wow, I must have needed this cry. Anyways, 
if any of this is like put any light bulbs off in your in your head I encourage you to take a stand in your life and there are so many things in your life that you can't control things that your mom and dad does or your siblings or your family or your husband um, there's a lot of things you cannot control in life and I, I I implore you not to focus on those things. But what I do is I, I pray that you can focus on the things you can control. And if you truly want to make a change in your life, start with your health and start with your fitness. And I'm not just talking about eating clean and working out. I am talking about getting mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically in shape. And you can do that. Only you can truly make a change in your own life. And if you need some guidance, I'm here to tell you that I'm, I want to help you. Um, I'm, I, I, I want to be that person for you. Uh, I had a lot of people be that person for me. So the best thing to do is start with your health and nutrition because uh, everything you put in your body and treat your body, it will ch it will affect everything around you. So let me know if you would like to uh, join me for 30, for 30 days next month and try to transform your life because it does start with your health and it does start with your nutrition especially. And uh, I have the tools to help you get there. It's changed my life. Um, I'm sorry for lying to you. If any of you um, feel that I have uh, hurt you or neglected you by lying to you in the past, I apologize and I am... Um, I apologize now and I am here to help you if you uh, would like to make a change in your life as I have made a change in mine. Um, uh, there's so much. I don't even know what I can read. If anybody has any questions, go for it. I love you all. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to message me. Um, yes, we are going to do another uh, challenge. Um, it's not just... It's not just a, a challenge to me. It's a life-changing 30 days, and, it, it, and I take it 30 days at a time. So you can see what it's done for me, and I hope I can do that for you. Message me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening. Um, this is very emotional for me, and I will talk to you guys later. See you. I love you all.